Momentum is a quantity that keeps an object in state of motion. It depends on the velocity and the mass. The higher the velocity, the more momentum. The higher the mass, the more momentum. The law of conservation of momentum says the total momentum during a collision does not change. That means the momentum before the collision is equal to the momentum after the collision. Here's our setup. We're going to launch one marble at another marble, which is stationary, but they will be of equal mass. The small steel marble weighs 28.4 grams, which should be converted to kilograms. Here is that collision. After the collision, the first marble transferred its momentum to the second marble, and since they have equal masses, the first marble stopped. Now we're going to try launching different amounts of marbles, beginning with one marble at four stationary marbles of equal mass. Observe the law of conservation of momentum in action. Momentum before the collision equals momentum after the collision. Now let's see what will happen if we launch a larger mass marble at a smaller mass marble. Remember, the mass of the small steel marble was 0 0.0284 kilograms. Here's the mass of the large steel marble, and the mass of the small glass marble. During this collision, the large marble transfers some of its momentum to the small steel marble, but not all of it. Because it has a smaller mass, the steel marble has a high velocity, and the large marble only slows down a little. Let's see what will happen if we launch a small mass marble at a larger mass marble. During this collision, the small steel marble transfers some of its momentum to the large steel marble, but not all of it. Because of the smaller mass, the small steel marble has a bigger change in velocity. It slows down a lot, and the large marble only speeds up a little. Newton's cradle is a great demonstration of the law of conservation of momentum. Momentum before the collision equals momentum after the collision.